The lungs are part of the respiratory system. They enable the body to absorb oxygen from the air and help expel the respiratory byproduct, carbon dioxide. Inhaled air follows a long path to the lungs. It flows through the nose and mouth, passes the larynx and trachea, until it finally reaches the bronchial tubes within the lungs. Then it flows all the way back. When we inhale, the lungs expand and air flows in. They are expanded by nearby contracting muscles that widen the chest cavity. The most relevant muscle groups for this include the diaphragm and the muscles of the rib cage. When the muscles contract and the lungs expand, air is sucked in through the mouth and nose. This is called inhalation. The nose filters, moistens and warms the inhaled air before it passes through the larynx, trachea and the bronchial tubes. Simultaneously, the heart pumps blood rich in carbon dioxide but poor in oxygen to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. The pulmonary arteries branch out in a mesh of tiny blood vessels called capillaries. This capillary network surrounds round air sacs called alveoli. They look like grape bundles hanging on the ends of the bronchial tubes. When we inhale, air flows down into the bronchial tubes and all the way to the alveoli. The inhaled air is oxygen rich. Now the gas exchange between the air in the alveoli and the red blood cells from the capillaries takes place. During the gas exchange, oxygen from the air in the alveoli passes into the red blood cells. The blood is enriched with oxygen. In return, Carbon dioxide from the red blood cells passes into the alveoli. The carbon dioxide enriched air now streams out of the alveoli and bronchial tubes toward the mouth and nose. This is called exhalation. Meanwhile, the oxygen rich blood flows back to the heart through the pulmonary veins. The heart then pumps the blood to the rest of the body through the systemic circuit supplying all organs with oxygen. When exhaling, the diaphragm and ribcage muscles relax again. This, in turn, reduces the size of the chest cavity. The carbon dioxide-rich air is forced out of the lungs and back into the ambient air through the mouth and nose. The lungs are now ready for the next breath, and the flow of blood through the pulmonary circuit begins anew. Bear. Science for a Better Life.